Here are seven ways to tell your girlfriend that she tastes bad. Damn, girl, you taste better than that sushi place down the block. You know, it is pineapple season. Can you smell those flowers? Me either. Can we just go to the shower? Ah, I don't know. I mean, I just had clam chowder for lunch yesterday. Did you have extra asparagus for dinner? I have a bad gag reflex. No, really, actually, actually, I do have a bad gag reflex. But guys, in all seriousness, there is a stigma around women tasting bad. Or fishy. Many women and sometimes men are self-conscious about their bodies and the way they see them and the way other people see them. Even about the way that they taste. None of the girls I was ever with ever actually tasted fishy. And I'm not a doctor, but I believe that if you do taste fishy, you either have a yeast infection or an STI. Right? You're not a doctor? But the point of this video is that maybe we shouldn't be so obsessed about the way we taste and a little bit more aware of the way we eat. Although tasting good is definitely essential. I mean, let's be real. I do not want to go through that experience again. Yes, it, it was... It, it really, it did happen, actually. Tasting good and the way we eat are directly correlated. Sorry. Did I ever tell you that one of my exes actually told me that I was the sweetest girl she's ever tasted? And it's not because I'm, I have a magical vagina, it's because I eat a lot of fruit. I mean, I literally have a bowl of raspberries right here that I haven't finished. I probably should finish those. The sweeter the things that you eat, the sweeter you will taste, right? If you eat a lot of salty and spicy foods, guess what? It's okay to have a spicy personality, but not a spicy pussy, okay? So today, my friend Jess is Wait, here. Wait, I'm looking over here. Oh, look at me. Oh, okay. So today, Jess is here, and we're not editing that out. She is a world-famous nutritionist, and what else would you call yourself? Fitness guru, I guess, right? Let's yeah. see, we have to see who has a nicer six-pack, okay? She has her own website called cake to kale and she actually made six different recipes just for you guys, just for the girlfriends and boyfriends, because I always hook you guys up. It's all about how to taste better and how to eat better, because as we learned, it goes hand in hand. The link is in the description below. Let's give them a little sneak peek. Number one, pineapples. Pineapple juice, pineapples. I cannot stress this enough. Apples. Are you trying to make a small booby reference? You want to pick up some acidophilus, which is great for yeast infections and putting all the good bacteria down there. So I think the message we all want to take away from this is if you don't want to eat healthy for yourself, at least at least do it for the person that has to go down on you. So if you like this video, make sure you go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And this is just something we discussed right now. I'm actually really curious about this. What I want to know in the comments right now from you guys is what is your biggest fear when it comes to going down on somebody, girl or boy? I will see you guys back here next Sunday with a brand new video. Make sure you subscribe and check out Jess. I love you.